Right, let's check out what's cooking in the Beko kitchen with Chef Mark this morning. What have we got? Right, today we've got classic a cottage pie with a twist. Cauliflower, no potato. That sounds like <laughs> sacrilege. <laughs> I'm yet to be convinced on this one, to be perfectly honest. Boy, you can taste it at the end of the show okay, and uh, so make your mind up. What, what have we got in it? Right, so all the classic ingredients, got these beautiful uh, beef here, so it's a cottage pie that's with beef, uh, not lamb, that would mm -hmm. be a shepherd's pie, you've got your onions and garlic, uh, some carrots in there, mushrooms, lots of fresh thyme, uh, Worcestershire sauce, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we're going to do, uh, we're either going to crush it, or if we cut it into little florets, we might make it, we might step up a little bit and make something special just to uh, just to make sure you like it a little bit later. Well, for a potato lover, I think <laughs> you are going to have to step up just a little bit, or a lot, to make sure I like it. I am glad, though, <laughs> that I get to taste stuff here in the Beko Kitchen, Mark. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen, and we've got cottage pie topping with a bit of a twist, Mark. Let's get straight into it. Right, we certainly have. So our cottage pie topping, cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> Not that impressed. <laughs> no, but I tell you what, you've never disappointed me so far. So what are we going to do? Right. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to um, just cut some little florets out. So we just want to keep them about this sort of this size, and then you've got an option. We're going to blanch them in some just lightly salted water, and then you've got an option. You can either sort of crush them, add a mm -hmm. bit of butter and cream, or I'm going to pull out the stops today and I am going to make a little creamy, buttery, cheesy sauce because I know, I know you like cheese. You may have redeemed yourself. So it's yes. almost going to be like a, a cauliflower cheese on top of a shepherd's pie, a cottage pie even. So when you say blanching, what exactly does that mean? Right, so blanching, so I've got a big pot of uh, uh, salted water on here. Yep. And then all we need to do is, you know, roughly get it all the same size, pop it in. You don't want to put too much in there, you could probably put a little bit more in, but if you're going to do the whole cauliflower, maybe use a bigger pot. Sure. And then just bring it back up to the boil as fast as you can, and then just keep cooking it. That'll take probably between well, three and five minutes. Right. So it still wants to hold its shape, but it's sort of soft, you know, a little bit of um, texture in there. Excellent. And while that's going on... Right, while that's going on, we are going to make our base for the cottage pie. So I've got some uh, good uh, beef mince there. Excellent. Right, I am going to, uh, I'm going to trust you to pop that in, stir it around, it's nice and hot now. Cool. Uh, we just want to brown it and as we're going we're just um, breaking it off as well. Right. And then, so do that first and then I've got some, us well the usual suspects here, so I've got a little bit of garlic. Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> give you the best thing. So we're just going to, just going to crush that down, and that's going to help flavour the mince. Uh, I've got some onions, some carrots, and some mushrooms as well, just to give us a bit of texture in there. How do you choose what goes in there? It's, uh, it's texture based, or obviously the carrots and onions serve up. Wow, look at the onion go. Well, it's, I mean, <laughs> it's full flavour. I mean, you, you know, yeah. your garlic and your onion, it's pretty much sort of standard um, flavourings in there. I mean, you, you know, carrots in there is really nice, it just gives you something different. Yeah. Um, you know, good for the kids as well, so get the vegetables in there. Totally. Um, you know, if you want, you could put peas in there. But you, you know how I feel about peas. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so keen on them in a pie, so I'm, no, I think exactly. that's where we're on the same page. Brilliant. Um, you know, but you could, you know, any other vegetables you could do in here, like, same as the top, you know? I mean, it, potato is great, and it is great yeah. time this time of year as well, you know, it's a little bit cooler. Um, but, you know, try something different. A bit of celeriac would be really nice. Parsnips. Celeriac is good, yeah. You know, that's really good, you know, just just, just uh, mix it mix it up a little bit, you know. Use the recipe and just swap out some key ingredients. So you're going quite fine with the, with the onion and the carrots as sort of those nice little cubes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, not too... Um, I mean, you can do it really fine if you want. But with the carrot, you know, nice even cubes. And then they'll soften as the whole pie cooks, but then, you, you know, you'll bite on them and you'll know it's a carrot, you know? If it's, yeah. if it's too fine, um, then you'll get the flavour, but you won't really get the texture. You know, with the nice. kids, you could grate it in as well. You're looking, when, when you're cooking mince, you sort of, are you waiting for it to, to essentially brown? It's literally as simple as that? Yeah, yeah, what we're doing is um, just browning it first and, um, you know, breaking it up as well. So that's really good. So it's all broken up now. You're not actually going to cook it in this first stage. We're going right. to add lots of stock in there and, and cook it through that and get lots of flavour into it. Excellent. Well, I can't wait to see back, see, come back and see exactly how this is going because those smells already. You've redeemed yourself by saying <laughs> cheese and butter in this cottage pie. Now we're going to pop our mushrooms in. Right. So they go in. So you can slice them, you can dice them if you don't want them, um, you know, too big. But as you cook the mushrooms down, because they're full of liquid, you know, they are going to get a little bit smaller anyway. Right. 
so that's fine. And then I've got a little bit of flour as well, which we're just gonna just gonna pop in now, and this is just gonna help thicken the sauce. Right. So it's always a good idea to put it in the dry pan. You know, when yep. you're frying things off, and yep. then you can just work that flour in and it will just go in and you won't get any lumps. So the old way that mum might have just mixed some water with it and chugged it in is probably not the way we do things anymore. Well, yeah, it's just easier to do it <laughs> that way. I mean, you probably could do that. You've just got to be a little bit more careful. Is it OK that it's sort of sticking a little bit on the bottom? Is that what we're, we would normally expect, or am I doing something wrong? No, <laughs> I stopped panicking. <laughs> no, 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 it's great. You know, it's quite dry at the moment, so you will yep. get a little bit of um, sort of sticking and a little bit of colouring on there, but that's good, yep. you know, that's fine. Don't be, don't be scared of that, because we'll deglaze the pan in a minute, and that's all flavour. Right, lots of fresh thyme goes in there. Yum. Right, and then we've got a little bit of uh, liquids and some flavouring. Uh, a little bit of tomato puree goes in there. And that's always a good idea, you know, stir that through and even fry that for a couple of minutes and it'll just release a sort of a deeper flavour if you do that. Got a little bit of white wine vinegar. Good. And some Worcestershire sauce. I'm never sure how to say that. Worcester, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, <laughs> Shire, Shire. <laughs> uh, and then we've got some beef stock in there as well. Ooh. So what we want to do there, Pop all that in, bring it up to the boil, and then we're just going to turn it down and just going to simmer it. So probably only need about 20 minutes, half an hour. The longer and slower you cook it, the more flavour you're going to get in there. A little bit of salt and pepper, and keep cooking that. That flour's just going to cook out, it's going to thicken it slightly. If it gets too thick, you can just add either a bit more stock or a little bit more water. Um, if, it's not that, if it's not thick enough, you know, get a little bit of flour, mix it with some water and pop it in. Excellent. <laughs> Right. Is it normal flour or is it corn flour? No, that's just normal flour. Easy. Right, what we're going to do now, a little bit of butter. I love it how you... See, when we mock you, we say <laughs> butter. But I think you've developed the ability to say your teas with regards to butter. Butter. Um, <laughs> right, so that goes in a pot. Some cream in there. Oh, hello. Yeah, all right. So, um, <laughs> if you wanted to, you know, you could just blanch this. So, we'll just check this cauliflower. Yep. How do you know when it's done? So, if you just bring a little bit out, and then even if you, uh, you know, either eat it or just slice it and just have a look, that's still got a little bit of a crunch in. Yep. You know, it's not far off. Probably needs like another minute or so, and then we can drain that off. Right. Well, we're going to reduce our cream. We've added some butter in there as well. You know, we've got some thyme around. Add a little bit of thyme, just gives it that flavour. There's that fear I have again of burning the cream. Is it just sort of a low to moderate heat or what have No, no, you can, you can wipe the heat up. We're going to reduce it. Right. So you reduce it, it becomes even richer. Oh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then, you know, it's bubbling away, it's starting to get a little bit thicker. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to pop this cheese in as well. So and, and now turn the heat down a little bit. Because that there is glorious. I could just happily stick a spoon in there. Thank you very much. Oh, definitely. And that's, that's going to be our topping, you know. Oh, Ideally, yeah. you know, reduce it down a little bit more so it's thicker. And then we'll add all the cauliflower to that, stir it around so it's nice, thick, sort of gooey, cheesy, uh, cauliflower cheese, and then once the uh, uh, the base is or the, the filling set and thickened and cooked, we're going to layer it up in our uh, tart tin and then just whack it in the oven. Well, it's probably all hot. If you do it all straight away, we're just going to whack it under the grill right. and gratinate it, and it's going to be... I love it. We cannot wait to try that. And, of course, the recipe is available on our website. Why not try it out on the family later this week? So all good. right, we have the cottage pie here. It's looking pretty good, Mark. Not bad, huh? What's on the menu for tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got lamb romp on the menu with autumn vegetables and turmeric. Oh, yum!